G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Victoria 3 releasables. Today we are continuing the letter A, and today we are going to be releasing the wonderful nation of Armenia. Now, I tried doing it with the Ottomans, uh, can't do it, so it was a little bit sad. But yeah, so we might as well obviously release it as an independent state and play as Armenia. Yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, we have two little, little, little territories. We got iron, lead, we got logging camps, and we got no coal. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's that's completely fine and research well um we're gonna have to focus in on something and i'm probably gonna be focusing on chairs because well chairs seem to be the biggest one and since we're literally in between well we're landlocked in between persia the ottomans and russia i mean nothing can go wrong right am i right so case here and get absolutely conquered well uh <laughs> we're about to find out so uh unique cultures we can actually form trans caucasia we do have to go to war on the russians which is well, I wouldn't say it's fun. <laughs> uh, we're obviously going to chuck in the intelligentsia and we are going to... We got serfdom and we are not going to go anywhere if we have it. So, um, yeah, let's go straight to homesteading and let's hope that we can pass it. I'm max, okay, uh, I guess I'll max out the taxes. I'll put a consumption tax on services and I'm going to kind of just see where... Okay, it's going to be over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my army and then we're going to go right ahead head and i i i can't really have an army oh boy oh oh okay you know what we will hold on to that for now let's build some logging camps first and, <laughs> and they will figure it out as we go reform the government uh and i just kicked the intelligence here out uh that uh, i did not mean to do that okay well we'll obviously pass professional army that's like first off the boat maybe build like one construction sector just so we can at least build things quite quickly i mean yeah we're not bad 87.7 thousand GDP. I mean, what, what's what's Caucasia and uh, the Caucasian in? Yeah, I mean, pretty good. I mean, you got more than me, but like, so I mean, we got more than Jabal Shamal. So I mean, that's saying something, I guess. Yeah. All right. So yeah, trying to we do want to drive in capitalists, of course. So uh, next thing we're gonna build is a tooling workshop. But I feel like we can probably build one more construction sector. Maybe just one more. I'm probably gonna have to rely off the two. Um, and obviously I'm going to promote social mobility and road maintenance because well we can't really upgrade our infrastructure at all not until we get our railways so we're going to be quite in a bit of a jiffy if this does not work out well for us so and we're about to, okay we're in consideration for professional army i'm feeling quite like the expert myself you know nothing hurts me even more than knowing that circassia not only has a coal mine but this little territory up here also has a coal mine why 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 can i just not be i don't know like kind of cool. Hey, Russia, can I join any... Uh, I want to see if I can join anyone's customs union. You know what? I'm going to try and build up a relationship with Persia and stuff and just see what happens. Oh, no. I feel like I'm asking for trouble, man. I, I Oh, gosh. I might as well just focus in on my society for now and just... Oh, man. I don't know if Russia's going to fall apart. Maybe I can join their customs union and try and at least... Like, I mean... I, I, I don't need... I, I can only be here. Here. You know, like, I, I can't be out there. No, no, I am in here. Help me. <laughs> Might as well get an iron mine. Build up one. That one little iron mine can help us out. And then we're going to get that beautiful furniture manufactory. Hoping... Oh, we got professional army. Cool. All right. Well, that's a step in... That's a good step in the right direction. Uh, monarchy. Presidential. I do want cultural exclusion, you know, because I want people to move to where I am. You know, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, one thing I just realized is nobody's working in the construction sectors and I've got to switch on to iron frame buildings. Oh, yeah. No, we are definitely digging a hole with this one. Oh, yikes. Um, how many... How much workforce? Do I... Do I Okay, no, I still got a, a decent workforce. We really need a, a university here because, uh, well, education is just... Oh, it's, yeah, it's not our style, honestly. And I don't... We can't get skills. Not until we get rid of uh, serfdom. <laughs> But I mean, at least this tooling workshop is done. We can prioritize luxury furniture and stuff and hardwood production. You know, we can really get that stuff going, I hope. Because who doesn't want to sit in our minion furniture? Um, am I right? We got cultural exclusion as well. Man, I'm uh, I'm feeling kind of good right now. And uh, well, looks like uh, the UK has literally conquered the majority of China, I mean. I mean, nothing can get more worse than this. Am I right? I mean, I might as well just put a consumption tax on liquor. I mean, we can't really have people going out here being alcoholics.
bollocks at this point. I mean, dedicated police force. I do agree. I think maybe having a dead, not a local police force. Pfft, nah, 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 nah. We can't, we don't be doing that here. Uh, oh, stock exchange. Very nice. I've, I'm struggling with paper and I'm really getting kicked right now. I, I feel like I'm getting bossed around and it's not helping me. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, start importing some paper, at least uh, from the Russian market. At least that's somewhat valuable and uh, might, might as well build a logging camp in uh, a million cars. No one's even smart enough to work these damn jobs. That's that's the type of issues we're dealing with here. The reason why nobody's in this is, uh, yeah, well, nobody even wants my clothes. Damn, what? Oh, people can take my iron, though. That's profitable. What else? My hardwood? No clothes. No, nothing. Zero zilch. Economy is like, oh my god, that's a weird economy line. I mean, I guess this is the best I can do with the universities. I mean, I'm gonna build up three of these things, uh, just for now. Now and then just keep him there until the literacy rate goes up because oh man yeah we have really really can't do a single thing oh oh and rush is going after circasia oh oh am i oh yeah no i'm definitely next ah oh, well, this oh man this is gonna be one long video uh I, it's either gonna be for the greater good of things or and people want appointed bureaucrats. I like that idea, actually. I, I'm a bit of an appointed bureaucrats man myself, uh, believe it or not. I've actually got a diploma in uh, a PhD in uh, dumbassery. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to get, to get. I'm starting to get smart. Surely, surely, being a smart guy makes me go. Uh, uh, and to me, I kind of need some of that Russian cold, you know. So, uh, trade and trade, if you get what I'm saying, boy. Anyways, what's our what, what's the max of we can get up to the max innovation we can get up to is 81 okay well that's it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be so maybe we can build up two more universities i mean they do cost a lot of money but oh yes uh is this is, is people get employed oh yeah no people get employed slowly i mean we got an urban center of level one uh, how many capitals we got up in here actually no it doesn't really matter how many capitals we got we need to get oh never mind i was gonna trigger a civil war but my days that improvement for homesteading is insane <laughs> sure, I can. I'll take that any day. I was willing to trigger a civil war over that. Oh, no, they're trying to keep surfing. Well, that's entertaining. I like the idea of that. Don't get me wrong. Hell yeah, dude. Loyalists all the way. Let's throw it down those taxes so these laws are just easier to pass. Why not? Oh, and we got homesteading. That's nice. That, you know what? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. And we're about to get religious schools and we're going to get a little bit more education access. I mean, we've been. Oh, oh look at that stick. Ended a living. Oh my god, that that line line go bad and then line go good and now line's kind of like stable stabilizing. Um, ac academic assistance. Uh, yes, no, that's terrible throughput. That just yeah, let's just keep it like that. No need to roll in my throughput bonuses and stuff like that. And the Ottomans got a defensive pact with uh, the French Empire. I, I don't <laughs> I don't know what uh, good old Napoleon over here what's wants to do with the Ottomans, but I guess he doesn't want the Russians getting involved or he doesn't want me getting involved personally. Oh my god, we're 11.1. That's what I'm talking about, boys. What's our standard living in the world? We got the 18th highest standard of living in the world. What? Okay, uh, and we might as well switch on to dye workshops and craftsmen. So surely our level one. That's that bad? Yikes. Can I actually, I can actually import coal. So I'm going to just do it from the British market. And then I'm going to switch the gas street lights because, well, that's very important. And I might as well start pumping out a little bit of iron, uh, my, you know, a little bit of coal, more iron, I guess. I mean, GDP just, oh my God, that's, oh, that's so satisfying to look at. I'm not going to lie. Um, I chuck you guys in. Uh, Paul Laws wants to go. That gives the industrialists a little bit of political movement. So, yes. And speaking about political movement, let's uh, bolster up these big... Let's just bolster up the industrialists. Uh, they're going to be the Gs. Might as well increase the uh, education access. I mean, yeah, we got religious schools. Doesn't really matter. Religious schools, public schools. I mean, if you want to get public schools, just to make everyone Armenian so that assimilation rate. But, yeah, we got a lot of Azerbaijani uh, against the odds. Whatever. I mean, this is... Well, you see, I may be subject to Russian torment myself, but why not? I, I can't really do I'm not even I have to wait till I can at least become a minor power. That's very doable. And then maybe I can bully Persia into getting actually no, I'm gonna expel my div life. I'm so sorry, Persia. I didn't mean this. Um I really didn't. 
Uh, in fact, I all of a sudden just disagree with you on almost everything on everything. It, it's just this magical curse that just somehow happened. I, I wish I could figure it out myself. But, you know, Russia likes me and I don't see any, you know, uh, ill will towards me. I also have an in incredibly uh, declining um, re uh, revenue at the moment. But that, uh, just ignore that. Yeah, just, it's nothing. Uh, iron mines. Yeah, logging camp. Okay, it, it, people smart enough to work in all my days, we can, we can start really prioritizing some of that. Fun. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yes. Okay, that we're almost at a million GDP. All right, we're, we were better than the court what the Caucasus ever were. All right, that's that's what I'm talking about. That is golden. I don't know why I'm losing so much money, so I'm just gonna increase that back up and put a consumption tax on luxury furniture just to tax the rich. And I'm really gonna make Persia hate me. Like I just want Persia to absolutely hate me. Just no reason why. Uh, oh, we can have the industrialist in. Is does that mean? Am I hearing a little bit of capitalism? Okay, well, uh, aside from taking the piss uh, too much, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab Lysa's fair. Uh, I always grab Lysa's fair. I don't really do interventionism. Uh, I don't know why. Like, I guess it's subsidizing school and all. Uh, but I just like uh, grabbing Lysa's fair just because it does give the capitalists and shopkeepers a beautiful investment pool contribution. Uh, while obviously the interventionism doesn't really do much uh, and stuff like that. But Lysa's fair, yeah, it's pretty nice to be honest with you and it kind of just stops uh oh you want to preserve traditionalism yeah well uh oh yeah i forgot we have terrible infrastructure okay so i'm now just trying to build up a uh, military i'm really gonna start rushing to becoming a minor power um at least get access to an ocean uh maybe just go down like just like one little straight down a minio i mean i do kind of like cut off the board i mean well they have coal which is great and then opium yeah we're well, gonna get a lot of opium plantations if we do that i mean probably a little bit of uh, uh well i don't think we've got to do that yet because well you know russia and uh, prussia and austria well they're not really good friends at the moment and it, it really is starting to look like prussia's getting their ass kicked so oh plus 20 prestige yes popular playwrights okay we can we can keep this this is this is good this is very good okay well declare my interest is going to be persia if i can get access to at least a little bit of the ocean i can you know go expand elsewhere all right and the hopes of the armenian dream is alive because listen man i do not trust russia okay even though they like me i'm um, a desirable ally it doesn't matter okay i feel like i'm going to piss them off in the future and well yeah you know and i i kind of really want to bully persia you know I, I think i've said that way too many times and, well they're improving relations with me i don't like that stop improving relations with me <laughs> i don't even know what to say for their our population i mean we're about to get last says fair so i mean that's saying something i don't i can turn them into my protectorate <gasps> russia mummy mummy okay so i'll never do that again oh my god please i will do anything Sistan tra treaty port. Wait, what's that? Uh, Faz, surely you want to take a Mazda? Okay, Faz. Uh, you know, what? yeah, take it. It's, it. Listen, this is that, that's good enough for me, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and I, I'm also gonna take control to Briz because uh, where was to Briz? Yeah, that's a little bit more into me, and I also want to, uh, you know, hey, Mother Russia, send down the troops, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Now, this is how you're supposed to play Arminia. Okay, this is actually fun. And, oh, and you hate me. I better actually start making you like me now. So that's a bit, a bit of a weird twist, I know. What about my son? Oh, uh, oh, oh Persia backs down. I didn't really get... Ah, no. Okay, well, it's all right. Well, and we got Las Hairs Fair. Nice. Obviously, we're now going to go ahead and grass uh, per capita. We're going to grab three trade first. Yeah, we'll grab three trade. I mean, my days, uh, we got some real profitable stuff. I mean, um, we got the seventh highest, most productive uh, manu furniture manufacturer. Now, textile mills are getting up there as well. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, it's now September. Can I reduce the... They will not accept, uh, and they will not accept. Okay, well, uh, it's war then. It's war that, uh, that obviously I did not want to, uh, you know, conquer states. To Briz? No. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a uh. <laughs> oh my god! Look how much cash I'm making. 
Holy Jesus. Um, where? Okay. Um, I don't know what to, to think anymore. Okay, so if I was to just go after the little command, Kremlin, Kaman over here, um, I just, I need to get out of the Caucasus. Okay, this, listen, it's nice being, you know, it's, it's nice and cozy in here. Don't get me wrong, but I need to break three boys. You know, I need to, I need to spread my wings like butter and, and stuff like that. So I want to see if I can, uh, turn you into a protect oh okay cool so persia does get in that is nice i don't need it i don't need anyone anyway i, I got persia to be honest i just really want command um but I feel like I'm going to need to bring in Russia anyway, because, well, I don't have a fleet. Well, I don't have access. No, I'm not trans. Okay, no. Listen, I, I said I would trade Persia for anything, but listen, if I was going to take you down, Persia's kind of like the big boy that I need, and, um... Well, I need to expand my resources and stuff to take down you, Russia, so... Yeah. Yeah. I, I oh my god. Oh, Oman backs down. <laughs> I didn't get Kremlin, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Well, that's me for today. I for the turn it as a primary objective once again everybody thank you so much for watching this video uh yeah this is armenia armenia is actually pretty fun i mean we managed to turn armenia from a traditional state uh to pretty modernizing to up to being close about almost halfway i wouldn't say halfway about a quarter way to being a major power and well you can really take it on from here i mean uh kiva afghanistan kalat uh, all of this stuff i mean it's really sky's the limit with this campaign uh but once again everybody thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see more victoria free release don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share this video. But once again, everybody, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. <coughs> like and subscribe, and be so inspired as well. If you like and subscribe, you got until the end of the video. Fine, I'll come over there and tickle your feet. Ah!